So I did it. The instructions say two people, minimum. Three is preferred. But I, as one person, assembled the Titan squash trellis. I put it here in my backyard. Still a bunch of clutter that needs to be cleared out. One thing I'm not very happy about is this absolute four-way cut in the net that came with it. You can see with the four pieces, looks like um, definitely was, you can see the loop where it should have gone through. I can fix that with some nylon string. I'm not too concerned about that. As much work as this was, it ain't worth me taking it back down. So this is an area where my fence borders the sidewalk. And this is one of the few areas left it isn't covered by thick blackberries where my dogs can charge the fence and scare people. Trust me, they won't go near this. They're terrified of things like this. So, um, since the soil here is basically sand, I've been living here 23 years. I've had two or three large breed dogs in those 23 years, and they have all charged the fence because I'm right on a sidewalk where every dog in the world walks. The soil is garbage. It is sand, it is rocks, it is concrete. It is nothing you're gonna to wanna to grow in. So my plan is to take six five gallon buckets, put some holes in them, plant them here, and put squash in them tomorrow. And we will watch and see how they do. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. Gotta throw that kiddie pool in the garbage. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. I will do a follow-up once it is growing. I will say the instructions are horrific. The couple of videos I found are horrific. The simplicity of it is <laughs> really simple had the instructions been correct. So, um, yeah, then there's that. There's really steps that should be completely done opposite than what the instructions say. But it's okay. Leave it to me to redo. Not up to me to redesign the product, but this is what it looks like. I guess it's seven feet by seven feet tall by eight or nine feet long, and at least six or seven feet wide at the bottom. So should support my winter squash very nicely, even though it's very late getting into the ground. Should have been in a month ago. I think given how healthy the soil's gonna be in the buckets, I think it's gonna catch up quite nicely.